Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the React Redux part 2 where we are going to just do the project setup. So let's get started how we are going to do the project setup. Whether you want to do some manual or whether you want to create inbuilt structure. So let's have a look how we are going to do that. Okay, so let me go to create the hello world React Redux. Okay, so let me go to the folders. So here we have a Redux folder. Let's uh, React.js react projects okay so let's open the terminal and paste it okay so react app command not found sorry npx is there npx create app okay. so it will create your app So here you can see that there are CRA templates. So what about the CRA templates? So if you want to uh, understand what exactly it is, uh, let me know in your com in my comment box. You want to learn about it. Okay, this is done. Moving to the next, we need to install these. Let's move hello world. Okay, CD. Right. What are the next step? NPM start. If I go, you are going to do, then you will get this one. Right. And then start. Okay, so the port is like, let me close all the quit. So, control C again. And then start, then it will open. Basic React. Next, we are going to install the Redux. So, let's install the React Redux. Then we have to install Redux. And let's create the CD source and make this one. So if we go and check this one, let me open the structure, file, open folder. So where is React projects? React to projects. Here we have hello world React Redux. If you're going to see that we have a source, we have actions, component, producers, and store.js. So this is the basic templating. You can say that we are going to use it. Okay. So something we have. Uh, this is the main one that the uh, component should be in components. Okay, actions, all the actions should be in actions or uh, you can make all of them actions in a reducers, right? We'll create a reducer where you can define the actions on the same because I have also done some of the templating and it's also worth it, right? Components are there and uh, you can also use the containers where you can just pass the data and rest of the work can be done by the components. That is also a part of the structuring, that the boilerplate, right? So this is the basic one that the... Uh, that we have to create manually else there is another one we are going to know about the CRA templates so let's have a look on that so this is the basic setup for the like redux to implement right so these folders this is a structuring of that one right let's move to the next that we have to with the CRA templates whether you want to use the TypeScript or whether you want to with the red, uh, redux only this is your choice so first of all let's see the this one so I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to close this terminal. Okay, so let me open this one, open terminal. Then this one, my app template Redux. Okay, so let's see. What is that structure? Because the uh, we, uh, this is a CRA template. Template that we are using is Redux. Before one, we have just using the template one, right? So let's see the my app npm start okay so it is started with the redux okay so by default you can see that we have a redux formulated already right add amount right add a sync so it is two you can make it like one add amount right so this is this is basically doing with the help of the redux right so let's have a look of that what is the structuring they are going to follow 
right so this is uh, i think best thing you don't you going to know, know that by default it will give you the full fledged store connection so what where you are going to do otherwise uh, in the previous one you need to do it manually like connecting the scooter or making the redux everything let's see how the structure it is okay so let's open my project over here so open folder then we have the my app right open it so this is the source we have the features okay in the features they have counter.js counter api counter slice counter this okay and uh, in app they have a store.js they have features app features and they have connected on that let's see what exactly they have done open store.js so they have configuring the store counter so this is the features counter slice okay so this is the way that they are doing the increment and increment right and storing the data so this is when you are doing the CRA templates so this is the structure they are going to follow and they are already connecting with the store so it depends on to you whether you will go with the CRA templates or whether you want to go with our previous one because I have seen that most of the people are using that uh, structure like components container reducers actions and uh, you can say selectors are also there okay so that's it for now i think uh, we have successfully in, uh, like installed the react redux let's in the next video we are going to learn more about the functioning of it how to connect it to the store how to how to make create action reducers we will keep on with the next videos right Thank you so much. I hope you understand what is the CRA templates. What is the basic structure of the Redux? Okay, please write in a comment which one is the best one. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.